In this video, we're going to focus on the derivatives of hyperbolic functions. So let's start with the derivative of hyperbolic sine. This is equal to hyperbolic cosine. So you may want to take some notes on this. We'll work on a few practice problems shortly. The derivative of hyperbolic cosine is hyperbolic sine. It's a little bit different from the corresponding trig function. In trig, the derivative of normal sine is just cosine, but the derivative of cosine is negative sine. But for hyperbolic functions, the derivative of hyperbolic cosine is positive hyperbolic sine. The derivative of hyperbolic tangent is hyperbolic secant squared. The derivative for hyperbolic cosecant x is negative cosecant or hyperbolic cosecant times hyperbolic cotangent of x. Now the derivative for hyperbolic secant x, that's negative hyperbolic secant times hyperbolic tangent. Now the derivative for cotangent is negative cosecant squared. Now let's prove this derivative. If you recall, sine, hyperbolic sine, it's e to the x minus e to the negative x over two. Let me make sure I have the right formula because sometimes my memory may fail me, but that is the correct formula. So that's hyperbolic sine. And hyperbolic cosine, it's the same thing, but the only difference is we're going to have a plus sign instead of a minus sign. So to differentiate hyperbolic sine, we're differentiating that expression, e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. The derivative of e to the u is e to the u times u prime. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x times the derivative of x, which is 1. So that's just e to the x. The derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. So we get that. So this becomes e to the x. These two negative signs, they cancel. So it's plus e to the negative x over 2, which is what we have here. And that is equivalent to hyperbolic cosine. So that's how you can prove this particular derivative. Now let's work on some practice problems. Go ahead and differentiate hyperbolic sine of 4x and also hyperbolic cosine of x cubed. Feel free to pause the video as you work on this. The derivative of hyperbolic sine of u, where u is a function of x as opposed to just x, this is going to be hyperbolic cosine of u times the derivative of the inside or u prime. So for this, this is going to be hyperbolic cosine We'll keep the inside part the same, 4x times the derivative of 4x, which is 4. So it's 4 hyperbolic cosine of 4x. So that's how we can find the value of that derivative. For the next one, the derivative of hyperbolic cosine, we know it's hyperbolic sine. 
we'll keep the inside the same and then we need to take the derivative of the inside the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared so we can write the answer as 3x squared hyperbolic sine of x cubed now let's try some more examples go ahead and find the derivative of hyperbolic secant x to the fourth and let's try the derivative of x squared hyperbolic sine of x try those two examples so for the first one we just have to use the chain rule the derivative of secant is secant tan but with a negative sign so we're gonna have hyperbolic well negative secant times x to the fourth and then times hyperbolic tangent x to the fourth and then we need to differentiate the inside part the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed so we can rewrite this as negative 4x cubed hyperbolic secant x to the fourth times hyperbolic tangent x to the fourth all right so moving to the next one we have the product rule and if you recall here's the product rule so if we have f times g and we want to find the derivative of that it's going to be f prime g plus fg prime so this is f and hyperbolic sine is g so f prime the derivative of x squared is going to be 2x times g we'll keep that the same and then plus f which is just x squared times g prime the derivative of hyperbolic sine which is going to be hyperbolic cosine so that is the answer for the second example now let's try a natural log problem go ahead and find the derivative of ln hyperbolic sine of x and try this as well the derivative of ln hyperbolic cosine of x squared now just to review when you're finding the derivative of ln u where u is a function of x it's going to be u prime over u so in this example for the first one u is just hyperbolic sine of x u prime is the derivative of hyperbolic sine which is cosine so u prime over u this is going to be hyperbolic cosine over hyperbolic sine and cosine over sine that is cotangent so the final answer is hyperbolic cotangent of x now for the next one we see that u is hyperbolic cosine of x squared u prime the derivative of that is going to be the derivative of hyperbolic cosine is hyperbolic sine we'll keep the inside part the same and then take the derivative of the inside part which is 2x so u prime over u u prime is 2x hyperbolic sine of x squared and then divided by u the u variable so that's hyperbolic cosine of x squared and sine over cosine we can make that tangent so the final answer is going to be 2x times hyperbolic tangent of x squared so those are some simple ways in which you can differentiate hyperbolic functions as you can see the rules are very similar to 
differentiating other functions using the product rule, the quotient rule, and the chain rule.